Hi there folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck and I'm with... Kent with MrTruck.com. And we are way up in the Rockies and this vehicle behind us is going to be competing for the Gold Hitch Award for light duty pickup trucks. What do we have? Yes indeed, it's a 2016 Ram 1500 with a Hemi, an 8-speed and a knob shifter. That's right. You guys asked for the Hemi, you get the Hemi. And coming up next, this takes on the Ike. Number on this? Uh, number two. Here's some numbers for you coming out of this 5.7 liter Hemi. 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. It's hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission feeding the rear wheels. And that rear end is a 392. And here's the cool part this actually has cylinder deactivation, so it'll get better mileage than, say, one that doesn't have it. But more importantly, when we have it up on the Ike Gauntlet, it should be interesting. And you're the guys who wanted it. You wanted the Hemi, now you get it. And here we're still using our Logan Coach Test Trader. It's weighted to 9,000 pounds. We have a water tote in there and we have four water barrels, along with center block, spare tire, a sandbag, all this to level the trailer out so that we're only 10% tongue weight. You know, th and this is uh, a Laramie Longhorn, so it's, very well equipped. I love the wood in here. The, the wood, the leather, the leather feel. You know what the leather reminds me of? It reminds me of how I want a horse's saddle to feel. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, yeah. The saddles look comfortable until you right. jump on one. You yeah. know more than me, right? Yeah, there's not much cushion. There's not a whole lot, but leather. this yeah. looks and feels the way that I wish those things felt. Oh, it does. It's like when it's a Western saddle color. The whole thing has got the Western theme going on with it. But this rascal and a half ton is retail price of fifty thousand. $805. Now we'll see going up the hill kind of fuel mileage we're getting with the trailer, but the government, the EPA rates this as a combined of 70 miles per gallon, 15 city, 22 on a highway. So that's, that's really not true. And you know what? That's the eight speed transmission that, that yeah. has to do with that. And that should help. You got that, uh, I think you have two overdrives in this. Okay, so our number is nine. We're now in the exit lane. So yeah, nine brake events to come down that hill. Once again, we've done more but we've certainly done less. And with this Ram 1500 towing a 9,000 pound trailer, we're using Anderson weight distributing hitch, which is very important to use on a half ton truck. Actually, it's acquired over 5,000 pounds by most manufacturers. So we're doing the safe thing, we're doing the right thing. This Ram 1500 has rear coil springs. It only squatted two and a half inches. We're taking a little bit of that squat out with the weight distributing hitch. Now, we're rolling? Yeah. Excellent. Well, this thing picks up nice. Yeah, this is a hit me and it sounds cool. Sounds cool. The, my favorite engine note so far has come out of the um, the 6.2 in the Chevy. Yes, I that, that's that. a great sounding engine. This Hemi is, is close. Yeah, it's good. That's that's it's, it sounds cool in the 6.4 Hemi. It does, I'm a doesn't fan it? Of the 6.4, I I like the sound of this. The 6.4, uh, at least the exhaust they put on stock on the power wagon had an industrial sound to it, if I recall, and it was just not quite as throaty. This sounds right. good. This is bass throaty. I like that. Well, this, you know, we're pulling 9,000 pounds, so it's it's a load, and it's 10% tongue weight. Our gross combined weight rating on this is 15,200. That's our actual. We are today. So we're real close to the maximum on the, on the maximum on this truck, gross combined weight rating, 15,950. I'll tell you this, at least down here at the bottom, it's not hurting for air power. I'm not wide open throttle and I'm maintaining the speed limit, which right here is 65. No problems. That's good, that's good. And this has got the right kind of towing mirrors. You can see in the trailer, it's yep. six foot three wide. I love these mirrors. Actually, that's a huge plus for this. Not many half ton trucks have mirrors st that you can get from the factory that do what these do. Yeah, it's, it's very good. I mean, it's, uh, I love them on the dually, I love them on this. This is probably got the most reach of any mirror out there. Yeah, I mean, they look a little bit goofy, but once you're towing something like this, they, you're glad to have them. Well, so what these mirrors do is they, they're retracted like so, and they work like a regular mirror would on an average truck, and then you can pop them up and use them to go, and they will go all the way to the back of whatever you're towing, no problem. Oh yeah, it's a signal arm, so you've got better visibility. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a good mirror. I actually have to back off right now. Or else I'll be going to the going too fast. <laughs> this thing's got guts. 
Now there's something you guys need to know, and that is that this is a two-wheel drive vehicle. If it were a four-wheel drive vehicle, it would have a front end that weighs, oh, about 180 pounds more. Now to compensate for that, we have three sandbags loaded back here, and each one is 60 pounds. And that basically makes up the difference. Uh, the 16 Chevy Silverado, which we did just a little while ago, with the 5.3, it went up the hill in 8.08 .08 seconds, and it did 3.2 miles per gallon. Okay. So keep in mind that one. And then if we go with the other GMC, compare it, that's the 6.2 we just talked about. Yep. It did it in 7.53 seconds, mm -hmm. and it did uh, 4.3 miles per gallon. So that covers the GM side. Now, compared to the Ford, and that the 2.7 EcoBoost V6, it went up the hill in 7.38 seconds, 7.38.17, and a 4.3 mile per gallon. And that was pulling a slightly smaller trailer. That was pulling a 7,700 pound trailer. That's not bad. No, no, that's not bad at all. The Eco Diesel we also ran it uh, last year, in it, and it uh, it did uh, 9.03.71. Yeah, she was slow, but yeah, it did 6.1 fuel mileage. That is impressive. Standard. That's, yeah. that's pretty and deadly. Amazing. A little lighter trailer, that's a 7850 trailer. Too. Yeah, yeah, and this is yeah, a heavier. That payload. But no, that's kind of where we were on those. At, at maximum, what the gross combined weight rate in this truck was the 15,950, which shows we're really close. Yep. Now, there's something to keep in mind. We've done a lot of runs where we've had three people in trucks or two people. So in this case, the reason why we have to is so we're staying below its maximum. If we had another person in here, then it, we would mess up the... Um, overall payload. Right, and the same way with Gower, your gross axle, rear axle weight rating, we're really close to that, so we're, we're done. We can't put anything else in here, payload or vehicle, and that's kind of what you run into. Now, she's actually speeding up. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it sounds Five tight. Percent. This is a great engine. I'm very happy with it so far. What's the RPM? It sounds tight. Yeah, it is. It's at uh, 5,400 RPM right now. Here's how the Eye Gauntlet scoring system breaks down. We have four elements, each one worth 25 points. First, the downhill. Every time we touch the brakes, you lose a point. Then, uphill time. Eight minutes is our benchmark. Every five seconds over that, you lose a point. Then, the uphill MPG. Six MPG is our benchmark. Every point two MPG below that, we lose a point. And finally, Every reviewer gets maximum 25 points for the subjective part. We average that together and come up with a final number for the truck. We recently tried the uh, Chevy Silverado with the 5.3 liter V8 and we feel that that's a pretty good match for this truck because it also was rear drive only. Yes. Yes, and just you know, similar sizes on the engine. Now this uh, this 410 torque, you can tell it's got that torque. It does well. Yeah, yeah. That's it's not having any major. I have been sitting just above 60 miles per hour this entire time. No it, problem. And it's not swaying. Any. The trailer's controls really well. Oh, this well. trailer's been great. We yeah. got that weight distributing hitch on there, Anderson. And that's you get it on there tight, and it really helps these half tons. They, all half tons need a little help. How are we doing on the stopwatch? Can you see it? Or, did I lose track of things? Why don't you give it to me? It's all right. There. All right. And so hit stop when we get to the second batch of lights. Okay. All right. We're almost there. So first batch coming up. But we were in the fast lane. I know. <laughs> and now. That comes in at 7.44.98. 744.98. This thing flew. It did. It did really well. Wow. That's What's really our, good. Uh, three miles per, three three. miles per gallon. Three miles per gallon. 7.44 seconds. That was what I consider a mini adventure and quite a good run. I gave this vehicle an 18. What did you give it? Hey, we're twins. I gave it an 18. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let me tell you why. I gave it 18 points because out of 25, the grade shifting to me was very... Well, it was under what I was hoping for. I was hoping for seven or six or something like that. And it just a little bit, it just didn't grade shift, right? I mean, yeah. I kind of wish it did. And the other reason, I know you guys have yelled at me about this before, but I cannot stand the hockey buck 
for the transmission. Okay, <laughs> I can't stand using this thing. It's like tuning into old radio. Yeah, so that's my reason. What about you? Yeah. Well, I gave it the 18, and I, I loved it going up the hill. It was a race car, You're flying up the hill, passing people, a great control. We had the, the, the hitch set right on it. I loved it going downhill. I didn't grade shift till you got the off ramp, and it should have. I mean, an eight speed like that, spaced that well, it should have done it. And it's a 392 rear end. The other thing I don't like about it, you know, I'm one hooked up the trailers, and it does squat tremendous. Weight distribution hitch is very necessary on that truck. The other thing I don't like about it is we ran out of payload number, we ran out of gross axle, rear axle weight rating, there's just, it's, it couldn't go any higher than where we were. We couldn't even put a third passenger in there. And I mean, you know, it, it's important to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But still, despite that, the score is, with everything combined, 72 points. Now, if you click above or below, wherever they decide to put the annotation, you're going to be able to see some of the other videos where we've taken other vehicles in this class and we've tested them. And I think you'll find it's an interesting score. In fact, it's actually a pretty good score. A very good score. And you know why? Because it just absolutely charged up that mountain. Oh, I mean, it did. It did. It yeah, did. That Hemi. That's pretty good. <laughs> Sounds cool, too. Now, here's the great part. This is another vehicle that we're using for the Gold Hitch Award. And I cannot wait to test the next batch. So, for... Can't with Mr. Truck.com. And Nathan, TFL Truck, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to go to TFLTruck.com for news, views, and real world reviews. So we're doing everything right, and we've got the uh, load leveling axles, they're actually going to weight distributing axles, there's a spread to them. So we calculated where we need to be, we moved the, the, load, the uh, power wagon back, and that was the whole idea of having a mobile load. Whenever we weigh it, then if we need to adjust it, we can just move the truck where we need to be. Worked out great. We also got water in the back of the truck, so right. we had to do all this to get zeroed into the weight we needed. Tell us what we have. We have a 2016 Ram 3500 Dually, and it's the limited model. And it is the 2016 Gold Hitch I Gauntlet run. This is the heavy duty. We got the gooseneck trailer loaded pretty much near the maximums. Let's go.